What is the world's worst fast food restaurant? McDonald's, Burger King, Bojangles. The answer may surprise you if you didn't read the title of this video. Now, the worst fast food isn't just fast food. It's fan food. And my god, it's awful. Yes, you read the title, I worked at Dairy Queen, the blizzard flipping hellscape filled with grandmas from the retirement home killing themselves with ice cream that you literally can't call ice cream. Call the know-it-all from Polar Express, cause that guy probably knows all about how DQ soft serve is fake news. The company didn't tell me that though, I figured it out from the guy outside of my house in the dumpster. I just love gum used in carpets in my ice cream. Those good good preservatives probably keep grandma alive, huh? But you know, at least seniors are smart, right? They're, they're wise people that use their knowledge properly, right? No. Imagine it's your second month of working. You just figured out how to mix a blizzard without getting the ice cream. Treat all over your athletic type beat shit shirt. An old man comes out at like 4 p.m. for his little treat before nap nap time. These old people, uh, they're too old to accept shit product. See, when they worked, minimum wage was a bit more livable, a bit more worth it. Uh, but they don't know that. Anyway, this guy comes in, he asks me for a quart of ice cream. Okay, whatever. Our location doesn't have the quart cups that the quarts of ice cream usually come in though. So we give him the alternative of a 32 ounce drink cup filled to the brim with airy ice cream like a fucking halo top. I didn't quite see what happened, but he was in his car and he looked like he was about to leave. And then he like put it in the passenger seat and then proceeded to tell me, uh, this isn't a court. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. No, it's not a court. I would like another. That would be a court. Uh, no, that's a quart. I can, like, take it back if you don't want it, or we just don't have the quart cups, but the drinks are 32 ounces, which is a quart. It should say somewhere on the cup. I've never been more hurt in my life, because you know what wasn't on the baseball print cup? A label that says how many ounces it is. You know, like every other drink cup that exists out there and has the fine print. So I go get one of my coworkers, and she tells the guy the same exact thing I did. Yeah, it's a quart. No, it's not. It's a quart. It's a full quart, sir. I can give you a refund if you don't want- This man must have been on Wall Street, because not only does he have the money to go to Dairy Queen a lot, but he also asked for two? And then he tried to tell the employees that they were wrong. As a little goody two-shoes boy who was raised in a nice little environment with the idea that if my ass ever talks back, it's getting smacked and turned black and blue, I know better than to talk back. Unless my order is totally screwed up or different, I'll go back. And I'm picky. I can't stand a wrong burger, but I also know it's in my power to scrape using a butter knife and it's not worth my time or the employee's time to care. But these entitled no good horrible pretentious old people don't have anything else to do and they don't understand that fast food is supposed to be cheap, easy, and shitty. They don't understand that 16 year olds don't get paid enough to care. So when I just got out of school and went to spend the last three hours of my day to serve you food on a Tuesday night in the middle of winter so you can enjoy a school burger with toppings, you can at least try to practice being thankful and not rude, right? Because treating other people the way you want to be treated is something everyone learned in pre-K, right? Well, apparently not! Now, um, now multiply occurrences like that times 100 and you've got just about every fast food service job like ever. God. Poor McDonald's workers got it the worst, and nobody can convince me otherwise. I'm not trying to compare at all, I'm just complaining because there's like two people who enjoy it. What really sells me on Dairy Queen though, is the food. Mmm, dry dry chicken with breading seasoned with black pepper and nothing else. Mmm, burgers with white bread that tastes like wheat broiled by a grill that catches on fire that is frozen meat from a deep freeze, not the commercial ones. Process is more processed garbage than my 4090 running Cyberpunk 2077 on a 2009 HP CPU with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And the ice cream, filled with about as much processed garbage as the burgers, low-fat milk and filtered through a machine that breaks down and makes the employee's hard work look silly. Chalky ice cream milk faster than my hype for the job and died the first day. Mmm. Who the 
fuck wants McDonald's ripoff fries for more money? While writing this script, I realized, maybe I'm wrong. It's been a hot minute since I've actually eaten Dairy Queen food. Maybe it's not as bad as I think. Maybe seeing what I've made has made it worse. So I'm gonna get up and go to Dairy Queen, come back and try the food I've been loathing for so long. Uh, hi, can I get the, um, three-piece chicken strip $7 meal deal? Uh, I'll do the Oreo hot cocoa. All right. That's everything. Twelve ninety six. thank you. Flip it, flip it. Period. I think I've only ever been in the drive-thru one other time, and that was to get you a thin mint blizzard. I love when I can taste the mint syrup that's made out of chemicals. It looks like Windex, <clears throat> but green. Okay. It's time. The safety food is over here. This is the real experience. All they have is Pepsi. They don't have any other diet sodas other than water, so... The Diet Pepsi tastes like Diet Pepsi. Not good. We have the Oreo Hot Cocoa Blizzard that's melted now. Fries and chicken and then the cheeseburger. From what I remember, the cheeseburger is, is just terrible. This is... <laughs> oh my god. This was definitely in a microwave. Uh, I haven't, I haven't eaten a burger since on break of one of my shifts. I was like, you know what, maybe the burger's not that bad. It's better than the chicken tenders for the 1800th time. It wasn't. It still tastes like a school burger. It's like <clears throat> above the school burger though. It's clearly like not grilled. I don't know why anyone would willingly do this to themselves though. The bun is mushy. And frankly, the, the texture is, is just bad. I mean, I have the, now I have the chicken tenders. Um, they, they feel really dry. It's not the worst thing ever. That doesn't mean it's good. Like, it doesn't taste the worst. If I had to, I would get it. It's a super savory meal. It's over-seasoned, but it doesn't have any flavor. It it's also just looks really gray. Like, I'm putting it up to the light that I have. It looks really gray. Just like the texture of the chicken inside is fish. The fries, they're cold already. I live about like nine minutes from there. I'm being brought back to depression from eating this because that's what I was when I worked at Dairy Queen. I have yet to ever try this gravy. Um, it's because it's like powder that goes into like a, a cornstarch mix. Like it's gross. For the sake of the video, I will dip my chicken in gravy. It just, it looks like clam chowder in the bad way. You know how old people lose taste in their taste buds after a long enough period of time? That's what this is made for, is those old people. It says, happy tastes good. Happy does not taste good. It tastes like pepper. And it's not happy. I'm depressed again. Oreo hot cocoa blizzard. God, that is straight sugar. I don't remember the Oreo hot cocoa tasting this much like sugar. I get the texture of Oreo, but I don't get the, the flavor of it. I get chocolate melty mush. The best example I can think of this is if you've ever been to Golden Corral and you get their, their soft serve ice cream from like the pull down machines and it's like not quite all the way frozen. Like it, it's like frozen yogurt where it's not quite the right texture of ice cream. At Dairy Queen, you think they mastered it with the like cones and stuff, but in the car ride home, my ice cream developed that grainy texture because of the temperature it's at, and it's just not as good. I've also never been drunk or high out the wazoo, so maybe Dairy Queen makes a really good meal when you're high or you're drunk. You wanna try a fry? That is not good. There's something over there. Tell me that this tastes good. It looks gray, right? Gray? Ew. <laughs> right, it tastes like straight pepper. Well, oh, I didn't mean <coughs> the pepper. It's just like cold and stringy. Ooh. Oh, is there a burger in there? I ate it already. It was dog shit. All in all, I'd rate this about a three out of 10.
This is, it's just it's not good. My food was out quickly. That came at the cost of the quality of the food, which means like these were sitting out for at least a little bit. These fries, which are, were mid. This tastes like straight pepper. This tasted like mush. It was really sweet, like overly powering. Over fucking sweet. I, I'm not insane. <laughs> it's just not good. I just, I just hated my job. From the first day, I realized how awful it was. I stood there at the counter, waiting, and the dread set in. I have to sit here and wait to serve people food and items I don't know anything about. And the stress of saying nothing but right on the order screen is just the worst. Feeling of the summer rush and being tired and working when all you want to do is go home and the stress of having to go the next day and... And then winter came. The place died. All was peaceful. My manager and I played chess. The best thing about my job was the people I worked with and the knowledge that I could be working at Chick-fil-A and wanting to kill myself because I'm obligated to say my pleasure while serving people who willingly donate to concentration camps and kill gay people because chicken good, yummy, yummy chicken sandwich. I love my frozen lemonade. Mmm, yum, God. So Dairy Queen wasn't always terrible. The slow days were slow and chill and easy. The mornings were easy a lot and things were nice sometimes. I had a forgiving boss who treated me nicely and gave me days off when I was breaking glass in my theater productions. And a lot of days were fun. Like the days after Christmas were chillin'. This is hell. Dairy Queen promotions are a big no-no. Every time things are going well and the business is making profit because we're local, boom! A promotion to make the corpse money hits. Fine. You know what, whatever. I can handle being busy. But of course no good stupid consumer is looking at the bottom text of advertisements. That's when the orders come flying in. The requests for a free blizzard of throne. And then we tell them the forsaken sentence. Uh, you have to download the app. And the hell continues. My app is at Wally's for 85 cents. I want a bar soda for 85 cents. You know they love me. We had never been so busy. The only rival was Free Cone Day, but that wasn't advertised on direct TV, which who uses cable anymore? Anyway, I heard the rumors of hell, but 1985 could not have been any more stupid of a year. I think one day we had just under 700 orders, which is about 60 orders an hour, of course, though. About 500 of those came from 4 to 10 p.m., which meant about 80 orders an hour-ish, which is good when you have a few extra workers like at McDonald's, but we were understaffed because, of course, not everyone from my area is competent and knows how to show up for work. The worst feeling in the world is when you're behind about 10 orders and the manager comes in and starts doing everything with the flash and makes you look like an absolute buffoon. I don't know how many times I insulted the app designer, but I'm pretty sure I told a lot of the folks in my town that, I'm sorry sir, I didn't design the app, and uh, I, I apologize for it being a piece of shit. I then proceeded to touch a bunch of disgusting foes and had a screen more cracked than my back from carrying the slow squad towards the end of my time at Dairy Queen. I just want freedom in my life. I, I just want to go back to playing chess and getting paid. But, of course, even the easiest of food service jobs come with their hell, and this was it. I then quit four months later after staying on longer because nobody in my town is poor enough to want to work at Dairy Queen. <sighs> My time at Dairy Queen is a blur, to be quite honest. Things caught on fire, hearts were broken, and some of the seniors I served there are probably dead now. But in the end, the dairy was the queen we made along the way. My senior year of high school was hell on earth. Calculus has never felt like more of a burden, but what really brought me down through it all was the pain of having to work at Dairy Queen whilst also trying to balance the life of a high school fucking teenager. I made this video, so you know better than to work at Dairy Queen. The only good thing from there is the Oreo Hot Cocoa Blizzard. If you've never been to Dairy Queen, good. You'll thank me later. And if you do eat at Dairy Queen, please for the love of god, go eat Sonic, it's fucking cheaper.